Kettle's boiled. Ah, oh, thanks. Hey, do you know Sally's going to be home today? Is that why? Oh, just something I to talk to her about. Hmm. This wouldn't have anything to do with a near kiss, would it? Just tell me. Way to make a girl feel wanted, Flynn. Oh, this is exactly what I wanted to avoid. No wonder you gave up the army. Your strategy skills suck. Oh, I really stuffed it, haven't I? Oh, it depends what you want. Whatever else you might want to think. I'm not playing games. Look, Sal's a very, very good friend of mine, and... Well, she'd kill me if she knew I was telling you this. But over the past few years, um, she hasn't exactly had a whole lot of luck with men, and it hasn't been great for her confidence. The last thing she needs right now is someone else coming in and messing with her head. Oh, it's not exactly my intention. Well, here's a little piece of advice. Work out what you want. Hey, do you want to remain being the manager? So a drink? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Just nerves, you reckon? Ah, uh, yeah. You're a doctor. You know about obsessive compulsive disorder? Yeah, of course. Yeah, well, Sal's had it ever since the wedding fiasco. They reckon it keeps popping up every time she gets stressed. <sighs> Guess she was more worried about this whole band thing than I ever imagined. Thanks for warning me, man. About what? Gypsy! <laughs> Bad, you asked me if she had a boyfriend. She doesn't have a boyfriend. You're lucky I don't take the keys to the Camaro off you. Oh, come on, where's your sense of humour, Chris? Hey, where's your manners? I nearly fell over when I saw Gypsy. How do you think that made her feel? I made her totally real myself, thanks to you. Nice. Yeah, no, mate, the secret is safe with me. So you're cool with it then? Oh, well, yeah, of course. Actually, kind of impressed with the way she's handling that. That kind of disorder can be really disruptive. Mm, just impressed. What do you want me to say? Come on, admit it. You really like her. Man, I've got an appointment to be at. You can't fool me, mate. You really care about this girl, don't you? Why think you get to be so interested anyway? Come on! What is the story? All right. All right. Yeah, I, I, I like her. In fact, the more I save her, the more I like her. So, what's holding you back? Well, it's complicated. What's complicated about it? You like her, and I'm pretty sure she likes you. You don't get too many chances in life, mate. Why worry about, you know, what might go wrong? Hey, how's it going? Uh, well, it's been an interesting day. Have you thought any more about what you're going to do? Yeah. And? I've decided to stop controlling everything I've always worried about what would happen if the truth came out. Now it's out, I, uh, I kind of feel relieved. Of course you do. So, no matter what Will or anyone says, I'm still having this baby, and that's enough for me to worry about without taking on any more problems. I am so happy to hear you say that. If Will wants to be a part of this, fine. But I seriously doubt he's going to jeopardise his relationship with Danny. Well, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Mm. So, does this mean you've decided to stay? Yeah. Good. <laughs> oh. As you can see, we've spent a bit of time doing the place up. Mm, it's a bit like a cubby house, isn't it? Very cosy. Yeah, cosy. Kids kind of like it. You can see why. Um, Zelda, this is Gypsy, our administrative assistant. Hi, how are you And Sally, she's a volunteer here. Hi. Uh, Gypsy, do you mind showing Zelda around the centre? Of course not. Come through. Yeah, Zelda runs that chain of florists up and down the coast. Oh, does she? Yeah, I was trying to get some sponsorship for the centre. You know, a little bit of advertising. Well, Flynn, do, do I need to know this? Well, you know, I just thought you might be interested. Didn't want you to think that... Think what? That there was something going on between the two of you? No, no, it just... Well, it makes no difference to me if there is. I just thought... You... No, well, you thought wrong. Like I said, it makes no difference to me. You're free to do exactly what you want. Thank you. I always thought I was. Oh, I just made a total fool of myself today. My OCDs flared up again and I'm... I ran away from band practice. Flynn must think I'm a total flake. I'm sure he'd understand if he even noticed. Yeah, and then when he was with that woman in the dropping centre, I, I don't know, I don't know what came over me. I just lost the plot for no reason. He, he must think I'm the most sad, stupid, desperate... Sal, he doesn't think any of those things. I didn't want to like him. I wasn't, I wasn't going to let myself, but I, I just 
couldn't help it. I mean, I, I like my work and I've, I've got great friends, I've got you. Why shouldn't that be enough? So, you deserve to be happy. Yeah, well, any chance I did have with him, I've spoiled it now. The way I've been acting, he must think I'm nuts. He doesn't think that. He really likes you. <laughs> so, he does. He told me. Well, would he? <laughs> 